I came up here um, it's just to check out the noise level but it seems ex extremely silent um, see the brands it's Mars Rock uh, Chinese factory um, I like the look of it. Uh, I ordered five blades because I heard it was a bit more silent. I have a neighbor coming over, living on that next field over there. Uh, so I'm hoping she doesn't complain. She already got a uh, grid power uh, this month. But uh, I don't know, I've had uh, free power for the past uh, seven years. So I'm not really willing to pay for it yet. Unless I need more than what I'm currently using. Uh, I was doing okay with solar only, but uh, I think January, February we get a lot of um, like way too much shade and even with my uh, amorphous panels they have a hard time charging the batteries after I use them up a lot. So I thought this would be a good idea because well this is peak of summer, August here uh, and still we're getting uh, 40... Um, I think about 40 knots, yeah. This gust, well, I don't know, it does, it's not picking it up. Uh, it's actually just, <laughs> I don't know, making something weird with the video, but uh, you can see how fast it's spinning. Um, so we get wind like all year, like all the time. Maybe you can see better by, by the trees. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to check out everything was working. Cause I had a trouble, real problem in the beginning uh, adjusting the, the hub. It seemed that whenever the blades started spinning, the hub would come loose. Uh, so it's, uh, I assembled this like three days ago. Today is the first day we get wind. Uh, and I wanted to check out after a few hours of working nonstop uh, if the hub would come loose again. But I think I just didn't. You're supposed to have put some muscle into it apparently uh, so I don't know if anyone wants to get one of these from uh, Aliexpress uh, I'll put uh, the link below for the store I bought it from um, I'm happy with it uh, the only issue is getting a, a metal tube that will fit into because the it, it requires a 5.5 centimeter uh, outside diameter tube uh, they sell well, at least around here they sell uh, five and they sell six I think or 6.5 so the guy at the, the hardware store told me yeah you can just you know cut a little bit of tube uh, cut it uh, like on the long side and then just put it around it like a like a sort of an extra filler I did that and it seems to have worked okay. I just put a little, uh, you can see a bracing thingy, I don't know the name in English, to uh, keep it from sliding down, but I doubt it will go anywhere because when I, I galvanized it to keep it from rusting in the winter, uh, it seemed to get just completely stuck. The turbine is about seven kilos, uh, blades are about 54 centimeters long, super lightweight. Um, I doubt it that even with our hurricanes that you will try to come loose. But anyway, um, it's fairly easy. This side of the house is a lot uh, uh, less tall, so it's fairly easy to come up here and check things out. Uh, I added some uh, extra coils of tube here, of, um, extra coils of. Uh, um, cable so that I can just you know like pull it pull it out and, and land it over there and do the maintenance whatever uh, instead of having to bring it like all the way down so yeah that's it for today uh, it sometimes does seem to get away from the wind so maybe maybe I will add a slightly bigger tail to it I don't know for now it doesn't seem to be too much trouble I mean, it's just when the wind stops and picks up again, it takes a little bit of a while to get back on it, but it doesn't seem significant for now. I'll see. I'll keep you updated.